Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. We're just outside of this pumpkin house. Gosh, why is it called pumpkin house? I don't know. Uh, interesting place. Uh, certainly pretty neat. I'm going to guess that maybe there is a real pumpkin house somewhere in West Virginia. I don't know. Maybe. One thing that is nice about being here now is that uh, there's no Scorch Beast flying overhead. That's fantastic. Another thing that is nice is that uh, before this episode I went back to my camp. I scrapped a bunch of stuff, uh, and then I went to a um, station, sold off a bunch of things, dropped off a bunch of stuff that I didn't want, got my weight down to 158. So feeling pretty good about that. We have a miscellaneous quest that says, speak with Jack at the pumpkin house. Well, let's go speak with Jack. Why not? Huh. It's funny, uh, this pumpkin here is like facing that direction, so its light is reflecting off of the... Uh, Wood there. It's kind of funny. So, let's speak with Jack. See what's up. So many pumpkins to carve. So little time. Aw, oh, poor Jack. Let me take a look at you. Yes, yes, you'll do nicely. Where are my manners? Welcome to the pumpkin house. One of the most popular attractions in Appalachia. I'm Jack, the caretaker here. To the point. Visitors demand perfectly carved pumpkins for the fall festival, but they simply won't stop rotting away. Uh, that's where you come in. Kindly fetch me some pumpkins to carve, will you? You will be adequately compensated, I assure you. Okay. It's like these, I wonder what I'm even carving for. Gather pumpkins to trade for radioactive seeds. Well, that sounds exactly like exactly what I want. Uh, let's look at our quest here. This is a daily quest, trick or treat. Jack has asked me to find pumpkins for him in the surrounding area. Doesn't he have enough pumpkins already? Yeah, doesn't he? Show on the map. Uh, well, it's just showing pumpkins over here. Yay, by the Fisher site. That's wonderful. So we'll have to run over to the Fisher site. To get pumpkins. But let's look around here first before we go attracting the attention of a scorch beast and have him follow us back here. So let's just look around a little bit. Candy candy fan, Mr. Fuzzy. I'm taking him. He's mine now. Let's look inside the house. There's no such thing as too many pumpkins. Well, I learned something new today. Moldy food. I'm sorry, did I interrupt your uh, dinner, Jack? Are you eating food? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Uh, robots don't care if food's moldy. A recipe for pumpkin pie. Well, of course. So many pumpkins to carve. So little time. Let's see what's upstairs. This house is actually still in pretty good shape. What the... Oh, okay. Sheesh, I fell in that hole. I had a hard time getting out of it. Here's a note. Whoa, hey, whoa. Now. Oh, bobby pins here. A plastic pumpkin. I'll probably find a bunch of those here. Okay, here's a note. Next to some sugar bombs that I'm going to take. And a plastic spoon. And we'll drink some water. We will drink some purified water. And it looks like we're a little bit hungry. So let's eat some um, pumpkin pie. It's appropriate. And um, for dessert, cotton candy bites. Anyway, pumpkin carving automation notes. Well, I finally got all of the robots online and programmed to carve out jack-o'-lanterns. I'm still having problems with them setting pumpkins down without rolling over. All things considered, I'm feeling pretty good about this automation idea. Wendy named the greeting j robot Jack O'Lantern. I think the kids will love it. October 31st is almost here. With any luck, this should be our biggest event to date. Alarm clock. Some fury. Hmm. 
raining a little bit outside. So many pumpkins to carve. So little time. Well, let's see if there's anything else to investigate here. Hey, what's up? You don't have enough. Search the area for wild pumpkin vines. Fine. I don't have enough. Oh, here's some pumpkins right here. Out back. Oh, here's a body of a raider. Um, just a moment. My phone's ringing. Unfortunately, I can't pause this game, so we'll see how this goes. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, something I just remembered out of the blue. Uh, a while back, I had uh, removed um, a buff that I want to keep on. Uh, I think it's an agility buff. Ammo Smith here. I don't need this on me when I'm running around. Um, but I would like to have uh, pack and light. No, through hiker. That's what I want. I don't even really use pistols, so this is not worth having. Through hiker is what I want. Food and drink weights are reduced by 90%. Look at this right now. Look, right now I'm at 170. Now I'm going to take this thing, put on through hiker. And now I'm at 125. <laughs> so, big, big, big difference there. Huge difference. I, I don't think that there's any... Yes, I know I need to level up. Uh, I don't know if there's any other things that I should be equipping right now compared to what I do have equipped. This is a good one to have. Take 60% less radiation from eating or drinking. And then... Uh, hello? Okay, whatever. Dromedary... All drinks quench thirst by an additional 50%. That's nice to have, too. Oh, I, I even have more lead bellies. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's keep looking around here. We've found, what, uh, four pumpkins so far? And we need ten. Another raider. Another damn dirty raider. Here's more pumpkins. I might get lucky. We might find enough pumpkins here. I might have not have to go by that Fisher site at all. That would be awesome. Uh, those aren't pumpkins on the vine. Kind of interesting how they've got like a guard post set up over there. Uh, I don't think I've looked in this little building yet. Let's look in here. I don't think I'm gonna find any pumpkins in here, but let's just go ahead and look in here. Oh, a tool chest, let's unlock this thing. Okay, touchy. Uh, trapper weighted limb mod. I don't know what that means. All kinds of stuff laying around in here. Oh, goody. Something else to unlock. This is really just an annoyance. Having to unlock these things. I guess it adds some drama. If you're being chased by an enemy and you need to get in there and unlock it. Otherwise, it's just really just a uh, an annoyance. Good old duct tape. My good friend, duct tape. Eh. Let's uh, scrap all the crap. Crap scrapped. I need two more pumpkins, man. Can we find two more pumpkins around here? Oh, the, oh yeah. Here's some pumpkins. I got pumpkins. Didn't have to go to the fisher sites. Let's deliver these pumpkins to Jack. He's gonna give us some radioactive seeds. Cotton candy bites. I'm taking uh, candy out of the. I don't really want bubble gum or gum drops. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey. Yes. You know me. Thanks. Fresh pumpkins. 
I'll get to carving right away. As for your reward, I've gathered some slightly radioactive seeds from the rotten pumpkins. They may not seem like much, but they're a key ingredient for making fresh, homemade pumpkin grenades. Uh, use with caution. Stop by again soon, will you? A carver's work is never done. Okay, so we got some pumpkin grenades and some seeds that we need to make pumpkin grenades. Pumpkin grenades, uh, they don't really do much damage, but target takes additional damage in radiation for five seconds. I thought I heard the Scorch Beast coming. I didn't even notice this guy sitting over here. Let's get us a toilet paper, a cigar box. Well, that's the pumpkin house. That's about all there is to it, really. Thanks. Uh, there are a couple other structures around here. Let's go ahead and investigate those while we're here. Why not? Take a look at these houses. Hope that the Scorch Beast doesn't pay us a visit. Actually, quite a few houses around here. Oh, hi, guys. Sneak attack. Oh, this guy's level 32. First, did you get a good look at him? He's kind of freaky looking. Somehow that bunk bed managed to survive. That bunk bed, it looks huge for this house. Doesn't that thing look huge? Uh, rounds. An unfilled kickball. It just cracks me up. They're designing a game and they're like, what, do, what kind of things do we want to put in the game world? I know. Unfilled kickball. There's plenty of pumpkins around here. Oh, can't get into this house. Probably can't get into that one either. It's also looks like it's also boarded up. Nope. Let's run over here anyway. See if we get in. See if there's anything over here for us to look at. Hmm, bunch of tanks here. Oh, 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 okay, all right. Golly, man, you guys. Hello, switch weapons, please. How many times do I have to press a... What the hell? All right, what's going on? Why can I not switch weapons? Thank you. Let me get radioactive. Man, th these guys, they... Their eyesight is incredible. They see me as soon as I peek my head around here. So what, what took place here, near the pumpkin house? Why are there so many military vehicles here? Don't know. Down there is another uh, Red Rocket truck stop, which uh, we visited before. Red Rocket Mega Stop, we don't need to go back there. We don't need to do that. Let's go this direction. Let's check this place out. Look at let's look in some more of these houses that are here. Oh, look how nice somebody somebody built some boards here for us to walk to walk over. A little playground over there. We may have looked at that playground earlier. Kind of makes me wonder why I didn't go in this direction. Check this out. I guess because at that point we were kind of like walking along this road. Maybe we were on our way to Abby's bunker or something. Raiders in their drugs. Raiders like drugs. Huh. That's not a very nice fate for that person. Beautiful day. This looks so nice that it actually makes me want to go outside. I'm gonna have to do that here after this episode. I need to go out and get me some food. Not really going outside, it's more just getting in my car and driving somewhere. I ain't got no food here, man. This one's all boarded up too, can't get in it. 
something back there. Maybe a camper? Oh. Something showed up for a moment there. Oh, look, a safe under here. Huh. Cool. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh my gosh, she's... Stupid level two locks. Yay. Oh, more of that technical data that I'm not going to ever take back to that camp. Oh, here's a uh, weapons workbench. Oh, goody. Oh, okay. Oh, nope. I was going to say, I thought I heard a torch beast, and indeed I did. There's one off there in the distance. Have any weapons I want to scrap? Yeah. Lever action rifle. Level 45. Gosh darn it. Stinking Scorch Beast. Get the hell out of here. Damn it. Oh, he sees me. Well, let's run back here and look at this real quick. Just because I'm here. Check it out. Uh, gas canister. Hey! Oh, great. I've got rad worms. That's a pretty neat place. I don't think I've seen uh, this before in this game, whatever this structure is. I think this is the first one of these I've seen. It's really neat. Hi. Oh, jeez. Look at them all coming, man. Oh my god. It's a freaking party. Gangrenous feral ghoul. Oh, you're next. Oh, where'd you go? Don't be shy. Come on in. Come on in, man. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, you too. Come on. It's okay. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have enough uh, drinks for everybody. Take health! Take health! Take health! Take health! God, how many times did I press the freaking button? Take health! I'm stuck here! What the hell's going on? Get the... I'm stuck in this corner. I can't get out of it. I'm stuck here. This is... What the hell? Oh, oh okay. Oh, I... Man, I... I don't know what the hell happened there. I got stuck in that corner. I couldn't get out. I guess I'll have to respawn at the pumpkin house. Man. And then you s I was pressing the button many, many times to get my guy to take a stim pack, and he wasn't. So I don't know what was up with that. Freaking annoying. I gotta tell you right now. I gotta tell you right now, as you can imagine. It's pretty freaking annoying. Let's go back here and get my goodies. Look, I'm not using up any action points at all right now. I love when that happens. Take all my stuff. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, there's an outhouse back there. Whoa. Better do something about my rad situation. Cured from the egghead mutation. Somebody's shooting weapons. It is probably just a bunch of stupid scorched. Recipe. Recipe for ground mole rat. Ah, oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, that was a neat move. Did you see? Holy hell! Guess I forgot to take health after I cleared my um, rads. Clear my rads again. I just want to see if there's anything in the outhouse. Uh, do you mind? Go away. Freaking annoying. 
just a body. That's all. Okay. Well, now where do I want to go? Because I don't want to be around this stupid... Um, let's go to Vault 94. Am I going in the right direction? It's on the other side of the pumpkin house. Let's get the hell out of here, man. Screw this noise. Not interested in fighting another Scorch Beast. This dramatic music plays. Oh, what, what the hell was that? Whatever game, just uh, you do what you want to do. Here's the vault in this direction. I really don't want to go by Red Rocket. There were a lot of enemies here, too. Huh. What else am I heading towards? There's a bunker here, a vault, and it looks like there's also a tower over here. Let's go to the tower. Suffering from radworms. Wonderful. So the vault's going to be to my left. That's okay. We'll get to it. But I hope you can see this. The, the, there's a tower on my little compass thingy. Let's go to that. See if it opens up new areas on the map. I feel like I'm hearing something from my left. Uh, and maybe I am queen of the hunt. Oh, this is a Scorch Beast. No, hunt down the cryptid before it disappears. Is a cryptid out here? Let me see something. Let me let me look at my... Uh, Queen of the Hunt. Oh, this is... I was supposed to investigate a shack. Uh, okay, I already did this one. We already did this quest. Remember Shelby O'Rourke? Pretty sure we already did that quest. Let's go to this tower here, man. See if we uncover more locations on the map. East Ridge Lookouts. Well, uh, you can stop playing the music now. It's not really not necessary. I don't think that this uh, Scorch Beast followed me all the way over here. It's good music, though. Just inappropriate. Body here. Some binoculars. First aid. Hunting rifle. We have nothing left to learn from those. Survey area. Let's see if anything new shows up. Ah, you've identified zero new locations. Okay, no new locations for us. At least the music stopped. Look how pretty that is. Got a power plant down there. What? What? Why? Why? Why music? Why? Why? There's nothing around here. It's it's okay, game. You, you don't need you don't need to be all dramatic. It's all right. All right. Well, found the tower. I guess it's good to know that there's nothing else around here. At least I won't be missing anything. So I had said let's go to the vault, but I'm actually going to save that for an, the beginning of an episode. Instead, uh, we will go to this abandoned bunker right here. Check this out. And hopefully when I enter the bunker, the music will stop freaking out. Uh, I think it's time to get out our power armor so we could do some jumping. It's one of the more useful features of power armor. Allows you to jump from any height. It's one of my favorite things about it. There's a bunker down there somewhere. Whee! 
Oh, discovered abandoned bunker. Okay, if you say so. Right beneath me here? There it is. Cool. Oh, no. Settlers. Settlers wanting to get in. But they were not allowed in. I'm trying to use a sledgehammer to get in, I guess. This is uh, Free States, right? Huh. A black blowfly. Interesting. Well, this looks like a pretty cool bunker built in underneath of the rocks here. I want to exit my uh, power armor. Just because. No other reason, really. Trees are real pretty here. So these people died trying to get into this bunker. Maybe they were out here when the bombs dropped. Let's go in. Let's see what's in this abandoned bunker. Maybe figure out why it's abandoned. It's a perfectly good bunker. Gross. That's disgusting looking. Oh, go away. Well, I guess the music's going to keep playing. It's so dramatic inside of this bunker. Oh, good. It's going away. Oh, how nice. Nope. Yep. Okay. Thought I was going to start up again. Well, let's look around. Oh, it's so peaceful. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> okay, let's go look down here. Tree roots growing in here, it looks like. Hey, what's up? Glowing pit plagued rat. Lots of... Oh, there's a lot of stuff down in here. I think I hear a duel, too. Oh, golly. Go away. Oh, gosh, there's another one. Okay. Huh. This bunker is, ab is an abandoned. It's inhabited by a bunch of rats. Let's eat some food. Get our health back up here. We're going to eat some grilled rad stag. We're going to eat uh, cotton candy bites. Some cram. Dandy boy apples. So we've got a brewing station over here. Let's see if I could craft anything at all. I cannot. Yeah, I, I just, I don't care about that. I, I never drink any of the alcoholic beverages in the game anyway. <laughs> so uh, I do not care about brewing stations. Bread box. Oh, hi. Yes, your family's dead. And I killed them. And now I'm going to kill you if I could hit you with my weapon. Catch the commie board game. Build a crazy contraption piece by piece as you... Something around the track. It looks like it says back around the track. Doesn't really make any sense. As you... Oh, race around the track. Warning. Contents. Don't be bored, games company. <laughs> the Red Menace is real. Well, this looks like a good place to get um, waterborne disease. So, let's go ahead and get out our armor again. Uh, should prevent us from getting any kind of diseases. Picking this meat up. I don't know. I just am. Try not to collect dirty water. Although it says collect. It doesn't say drink. Desk, fan. Don't think I ever noticed that when you pick up a pen, it makes a little clicking sound. Click, click. Don't think I ever noticed that before. Oh, 
Oh, I hope we get to learn a little bit about who was in this bunker. I guess I could see why it's abandoned now. All this water in it. Being overtaken by trees. Tree roots. Oh, I want that globe. Fit it in my backpack. Yeah, nature's reclaiming this place, man. <sighs> now I'm thirsty. Are there any soups? I don't know. What am I sorted by? Weight? Abandoned bunker safe key. Man, I almost missed that. I didn't see it, I just saw something pop up. Some words pop up on my screen there, so I took a second look. There's the safe. Interesting place for a safe here in the laundry room. Caps. That's not the right button to press. Alright. Well, there you go. There's the abandoned bunker. That's pretty much it, folks. No story for us here. Not that I saw. I could I could have missed it. There could be something here that I just didn't see. Uh, most of the place is blocked off. Normally there's, like, bedrooms there. But uh, we can't get in there. It's all blocked off. And then there's also normally more rooms here, but that's also blocked off. So not a whole lot of exploring to do in here, sadly. Don't think I looked in here, but it doesn't look like there's much for us to see or get in here. So... Go ahead and leave. Not before I scrap everything. At this bench. Any weapons? Oh, yeah. Uh, level 10 sniper rifle. <laughs> how, how quaint. Left leg. Didn't learn anything from that. Okay, there you go. Abandoned bunker. Oh, so exciting. What are we going to look at next? Like I said, I don't want to go in Vault 94 right now. I'm going to save that for the starting of an episode. I don't know how big it's going to be, and I want to make sure I have time to look through it. Except for the fact that there's really not a whole lot left out here for me to explore. So, fine. We'll go to Vault 94. Problem is, is that I need to get up there. Hopefully we could run up this hill and get there. So we'll go peek our head into Vault 94. See what's up. Maybe it's a real small vault. Of course, those of you who have already been there know the answer to that question. Is it a small vault? Is it a big vault? But, let's go. Vault 94. I wonder if these were people that were, like, being bussed here to be admitted into Vault 94, but for whatever reason, they didn't make it in. Died on the bus when the bombs fell. Oh, come on. Let's unlock this one, too. Oh, 
Well, that was worth it. Let's check this out. Oh my. A vault dweller here. A disease cure, that's good to get. Exterior security terminal. Welcome to Vault 94. Vault status, vault door, security log. Two days before the bombs fell. Uh, user Tyrone Hayes, maintenance engineer. At 9.30 this morning, we received the decryption keys to unseal the new orders for Vault 94. The other members of the vault staff completed their assignments and have departed for their Vault Tech University, or departed for Vault Tech University, leaving me here alone. As instructed, I contacted the invited residents, Pastor Salivar and her congregation, and informed them that Vault 94 is ready to receive them should the worst occur. This is the day the bombs fell. As soon as the signal came in, I called the pastor and urged her to leave for the vault at once. She, would be, she should be arriving with the first wave of residents within the hour. A second bus is due later this afternoon. I'm heading in to make sure everything is ready for their arrival and to see if I could stall the door a little longer. Okay, so he wasn't able to keep the door open long enough for the second bus, it sounds like. User log. This is a year later. Maria Collins, greeter. The vault reopened yesterday afternoon. Pastor Gabriella led us in prayer for the victims of the war, then gave her blessing to the ambassadors being sent forth on their missionary work. I volunteered to take a shift here to make sure any visitors who come by are properly welcomed to our community. I also hope to set up a garden so we can begin testing some of our crops next spring. We need to understand what the earth is still fit to nurture if our work is to be of use to others. What the... Well, this is it? Okay, for some reason I thought there were more options, but I guess not. So this was some kind of like evangelical group that went in here. It sounds like a pastor and her congregation. They come out. Mission work. So I don't even know if we're going to be able to get into this vault. Welcome. Hmm, crispy squirrel bits. Maybe I'll have that for lunch. Vault 94 entrance, it's one of these. You just walk on in. Oh my. This isn't looking so good. It's looking kind of scary, actually. Whoa. Hmm. Look at me picking stuff up. First things first. Vault access control terminal here. Not seeing any enemies. Welcome to Vault 94. Vault status normal. Vault door sealed welcome letter. From the pastor's desk. Greetings and welcome to Vault 94. On behalf of the Vault 94 intentional community... It is my pleasure to welcome you to our home. Vault 94 is founded on the principles of faith, nonviolence, and communal life in harmony with nature. Whether you share our beliefs or choose to walk your own path, know that you are always welcome among us. Vault 94 was blessed with an abundance of resources, and we are committed to sharing them with all in need as we work together to restore the bounty of the earth. More importantly, we hope to share our values and rebuild a common belief in the essential goodness of humanity. If you are hungry, come and eat. If you are weary, come and rest. If you are here to trade, our stores are always open. Welcome to Vault 94. Welcome home. Pastor Gabriella Salivar. P.S. Please check any weapons or explosives at the reception desk as you enter. Vault Door Control. Thank you for visiting Vault 94. In order to ensure that all of our guests have been properly welcomed, a vault access code is required to operate this door. Please speak with your vault ambassador or any resident for assistance. 
Huh, well, since I don't see a place to enter a code, I'm going to guess that such code does not exist. And this is all just for show. And the, this is kind of neat. I don't, I don't know where this extremely bright light is coming from, but uh, it's kind of disturbing. Hello. <laughs> Did you see that? What the hell was that? I don't know what the hell that thing is. It's like a Venus flytrap that spews something. Giant pitcher plant harvest. Digested goo added. Boy, that's a lot of rads. So I got some digested goo. That's a lot of rads, my friends. Oh, hi. How you doing? Just kind of hanging out in here? I understand. What the... Um... Oh, my game crashed. <laughs> it just flat out crashed. Uh, well, for... For a nice change of pace, the um, the pro the uh, software crashed, and not my uh, recording software. The game itself crashed. Um, well, I know this is a short episode, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here rather than try to fire this thing back up. Uh, we come back next time. Um, we'll just pick up where we left off. Thanks for joining me. Hope you join me again in the next episode.